in the process of re-establishing the the, uh, the validity of the industry that it is something that is, that is going to be a vital part of the the war against uh, greenhouse emissions, greenhouse gases and things like that and as Martin Staper said just recently in a, uh, a speech I heard him say the ultimate carbon input to the soil is worm casting so we really believe that the worms and the castings are going to play a significant role in uh, changing the way we look at agriculture in the future. But see, I'll just repeat myself a little bit, yep. uh, you will actually be a part of, or you'll have the generosity to show other farmers what you're doing or uh, coach them, so to speak. Yes, that's, that's right. We're already that's setting up a, a support group where uh, people will come and, and people can come and have a look at what I'm doing on my farm, then I'll go and have a look at what they're doing on their farm, and we'll just share information for the general good of everybody. Yeah. But do you think, um, if you're talking about no inputs, well, I think that's unbelievable. Do you think that can be done on a, on a reasonable, reasonably large scale? Uh, I guess it depends. Uh, it, it all comes back to your no, management. Like 100 acres, can yes, it be done okay. sort of 500 acres? Okay, okay. well, well I'm aware acres. of my own place that if I put uh, lime and some gypsum and dolomite, I'll get a much speedier response. But yeah. at this stage, uh, I'm prepared to take a little bit more time and just see if we if we can do it on basically on a shoestring uh, the people out there that obviously do have the the, the finances to uh, to make things happen quicker but there's also a lot of small landholders out there that that maybe have a job and they're just trying to improve and grow quality fruit and veggies for themselves in the local markets and I'm just trying to show that whether it is a way that it can be done without having to have uh, a lot of capital behind you. Yeah. Well, I think it's very important because what you just touched on there, you've got smaller farmers who are, who are supposedly completely unviable on the, when it comes to uh, animals like gray, uh, cattle. So um, if they can Im Im reduce their inputs, uh, they automatically become viable. I think that's quite right. And I mean, the, the, you know, the trend in Australia at the moment for all the big companies to buy up the large holdings and they're in it for the money and, the, and looking at it purely as a business but there's a lot of other people on land that lifestyle is just as important as, as money and uh, I, I guess the whole aim in the end is, is to, coming back to the food miles thing, is to have each district as self-sufficient as it can rather than people growing oranges in Mildura and sending it down to Melbourne to be put in a box and then sent back to Mildura to be sold at the supermarket. You know, if you explain that's that, exactly if you happens. tell that to your grandkids they say, well that's silly, your grandpa, why would they be doing that? But this is what we've been doing. Yeah, yeah.